can't separate yeah. from this thing at this point. Um, that's what I'm saying. It's an extension of your brain, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 yeah. And, and that's, that's the, the rub here, right? Like, uh, you know, first, um, first uh, you have, uh, you know, the external body technology, then you have the wearables, right? And, and, yep. uh, and then yep. they're, they're going to end up inside you. Yep. Right. And then at what point do you have so many inside you that you're not human anymore? Right. That's right. what I'm saying. And, it's, and at that point, the mystery is, what happens to the soul? Does the soul vacate? So what is the soul, though? The essence. <laughs> I, I don't know. Somebody I, I, explain I this to me one day, Mr. Gates. Let me tell you, right? Okay. Yeah, there, there's two things I, I, I want to say I, uh, that, that peop, some different people have, have put upon me, and, and I think they're right, right? Right. I'm, I, I'm, typically, I'm a very selfless person, you know? I just want to want to give. And, and this person was like, you have to give for you first, because if you can't get yourself together, you're not going to be able to help anyone else. Right. And when they told me that, I, I had never thought about that. This is very recently. Right. And I was right. like, damn it, you're freaking right. That makes perfect sense, you know. And it's kind of hard for me to, to even come to terms with that, you know, because I've been living in a particular way for a long time. Like, I don't I don't I, I still want to help whomever I can help. But if I'm not helping myself, then what, what's the point at this? You know, like, I mean, you're not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to help my, my, my kids. You understand? Like if, if I'm not together, yeah. if I'm not right. Um, yeah. But somebody else told me something about the soul. Okay. Um, I forget this guy's name. He was on the fringe okay. uh, way back, way back when. And he goes, the soul is merely your breath. It's the breath of, uh, of, uh, of life, right? The mm. breath of, of Christ. You know, if, if you believe I'm a Christian, right? So I'm, I, I, okay. I, I follow that, that frame of mind. But I also, like I said, I, I, I subscribe to whomever people subscribe to. Like, I'm cool with it, you know, and, and, and I understand that there's different paths to this. There right. is not just one way, in my opinion. Um, right. Right. And, and like the soul is the breath of life. You breathe it in, you breathe it out. He's like, the people that you live with, they're your soulmates because you're breathing the same air. Mm. And when you die... Your soul leaves the body because you no longer breathe. That made a lot of sense to me. I don't know that how true it is, but it made a lot of sense to me. Go ahead. Well, I mean, just seeing the very fact that breathing is the only indication of life besides a beating heart. You know, when somebody collapses, the first thing you do is, are they breathing? You know, so. Right. Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, and that, that's, you know, that's a profound way to look at it. <laughs> and, uh. Yeah, I, I believe that we're all cups from that same ocean. And when we die, we just, the water spills, the, the, the cup blows away, but the water spills back into that ocean, that collective consciousness that we all share and will continue to share. And uh, so, yeah, I agree with that 